As anyone who's been to a fish market knows, the vast majority of life out there is ugly. But why is this? We tend to be dull in what we consider beautiful and only seem to care about cute, fluffy animals, usually mammals. Creatures that, like us, have hair and are warm-blooded and have faces. Or a bit egotistical like that and seem to only care about the things that are a bit like us. We are one of only five classes of vertebrates, animals with backbones. There are mammals, uh, like us, the fluffy things, nearly all of which breastfeed. There are the birds, warm-blooded, feathered creatures, most of which can fly. Reptiles make up all the other egg-laying land creatures and a few more besides. And then there are the amphibians, moist-skinned animals that need water to breed. And finally, there are the fish, scaly things that live in water. When we think of animals, these creatures with backbones are often the first that come to our minds. But they only make up less than 5% of all the animals on our planet. Most animals lack spines. They're what we call invertebrates. The most common of these are the insects. Now, they might not be pretty, but they are the creatures that make the world go round. Of all the animals, they are the group with the most members. There have been over a million found by scientists, and they estimate that there could be between 6 and 10 million of them. This could well represent up to 90% of all animal life, and some of them are ugly. The longest insect in the world is Chan's megastick, and it is mega. It's a stick insect that's about 2 feet in length. Giant wetas are enormous creatures that are related to crickets. The largest giant wetas can weigh in excess of 70 grams, making them among the heaviest insects in the world. They can weigh more than a sparrow. But there were even bigger creepy crawlies in the past. The largest insects that ever lived were likely to be dragonfly-like creatures of the order Protodonata, sometimes referred to as griffinflies. They had wingspans of nearly two and a half feet across, and huge mandibles making them formidable predators. Most insects, though, are small, which is one of the reasons that we sometimes struggle with working out where and how they live. Studying them can be tricky. Now, there are plenty of ugly smaller insects too, though. Insects have three body parts and three pairs of legs and one pair of antenna. They also have exoskeletons, skeletons on the outside of their bodies. In order to grow, they have to cast off these old skeletons like an old out-of-fashion tracksuit. The caterpillar of Arabalugans, that's the larva of the gum leaf skeletonizer moth, great name. It keeps the old heads that it has shed and wears them as a hat. It has each manky head stacked on top of the other like it's going for a day out at the races. And it still doesn't look as daft at what some of us humans wear. Are you a bit spineless in your love of animals? Go and research an invertebrate and then set up a debate about which one should be the ugly animal mascot of your school or group. To download a debate pack, please see the National Science and Engineering Competition website, the address of which is in the description below.